Hello and welcome to my review of the Jimmy Airblown inflatable six foot tall Clydesdale horse and Santa sleigh. This sold back in 2018 at Lowe's for $169. I, however, got this for 75% off or $42.50 plus tax. Recently, I asked you guys what type of videos you wanted to see on the channel, and one of you suggested to bring back those re reviews. I started with the animated teddy bear and just never continued doing. I don't know why. Maybe there was just something else to film at the time, but I'll begin this summer with the Clydesdale. I'll touch on the Candy Castle, the Mickey Toy Soldier, the Gingerbread House. There are a few that really deserve a today's quality of video, and the Clydesdale is certainly a great one to start off with. The dimensions are located down at the bottom right-hand corner. It is nine and a half feet long, roughly three and a half feet deep, and then six feet tall, right at where the horse's ears are. So that part of the inflatable is the tallest. The item number is right here, and then it's just got this beautiful holiday living box art, which is unfortunately discontinued, but I think for Halloween at least, the haunted living brand that they go with will actually come back this year with a beautiful purple looking scheme. I'll put the images on screen for you right now. They're leaks, so they're very blurry. You can't get a really good idea of what they'll look like, but you can at least kind of see what they're gonna end up being in store. The box is in really nice condition. Even the corners aren't too beat up. That's one thing I do well. I mean, I keep my inflatables in really excellent shape, but the boxes are often hard to do that with because you've got so many inflatables, you're cramming them all together. This one though has really survived that. As I show the back of the box, the lighting isn't quite as good just because I don't have a studio light for back here yet. Until I do, this is how it's gonna be. You've got a small pull tab for a big ass box, lifelike for material for the feet, mane as well as the tail. Jimmy Industries Corp there and there. These boxes are so formal looking and elegant. It's kind of crazy when compared to the green ones we have today. They're just presented so well are these old holiday living boxes. The last time I unboxed this for you was roughly four years ago, most likely in 480p and did not have a time lapse. So let's go ahead and change all that right now. With it all spread out, I've only had to stick it twice at the two tether attachments and the front hooves. Those are the only ground parts of the inflatable that you can stake that isn't the fan, which is an AH3 model. Not the most powerful fan Jimmy makes, but definitely gets the job done. When I first took this out of the box all those years ago, it wanted to explode. Now, not so much, but still inflates very tight. So let's go ahead and plug it in. At around a 30 second inflation time, this Santa with Clydesdale looks really good. The colors are still as vibrant as before. It has 67s in total, three in the horse and then three in the Santa and the sleigh. So they're evenly distributed throughout. If I have one complaint on this inflatable, it's very minor, about as minor as you can get. And that is the strap for the horse, how it's attached to Santa's glove. And it's only attached with that little string right there. It's actually created a little bit of a hole which doesn't affect the inflatable, but still, I'm astonished that this has yet to come off. I thought it would have by now, since I've used it for about three or four times at this point, it is still holding strong. I just don't like it when they're so flimsy. The straps on the horse, though, are really good. There's about an inch of stitching there, so nothing to complain about with the horse itself. It's just that little thing. I always thought they could have done a little bit better job. Maybe have the reins in each hand or something rather than put a candy cane and have it only in one. That looks a little bit odd, but when you look at it from the front, from this view, it's not really noticeable. Other than the fact that you do have that strap kind of going over the horse like that instead of on the opposite side. The sleigh is a little simple looking. There's no pattern on the side. At the rear, it kind of just juts out. It doesn't circle back how some other sleighs do. It's fine though, it's in proportion with the Clydesdale and the Santa and I think that's what matters most. Everything really flows on this inflatable. It only has one zipper and that's down by the fan. I checked the horse, I like looked all over. I probably violated it when I was looking and I did not see a single other zipper. So getting to this C7, especially in the head, all the way from, it's about right there, would be a little difficult. That's why I'm saying, Adding more zippers is such a benefit to these inflatables. I don't know why they don't do it. This is a 2018, so this argument isn't as relevant as say for a 2023 design, but I just am surprised by the fact that they don't include zippers as much. I don't know if it's just not cost effective, if it's expensive to do that, but with this Clydesdale, it really does need an additional zipper for sure. It has a nice wreath wrapped around its neck. It also has a little bridge for the air to flow between those two legs. I wouldn't recommend displaying it from a head on view because you will very much see that. I displayed it at a 45 degree angle. I always thought this angle was the best. Some people display it from the angle that I inflated it and that's fine. It just is very two dimensional. I always thought this inflatable could look a little bit better. So I always pretty much displayed it 
at that angle or I would curve the sleigh to give it a little bit more depth. I don't know, I just wanted to play with it a little bit. You have four tether attachments, two on the sleigh, same goes for the Clydesdale. And I do wanna to touch on quite literally the fuzzy material which made this inflatable so popular when it came out. I don't know if this was the mixed media fuzzy debut, but I do know it was in its early stages for sure at that point. The only downside to this is that it attracts dirt and grass and all that sort of stuff like a sponge. All that work really is worth it though, I can assure you, because this doesn't even look like an inflatable. The fuzzy material goes really far, and I wish they had done that for the Clydesdale that sold at Walmart a few years ago, because that horse was much larger than this one. I think it clocked in at around nine feet tall, a lot closer to the size of an actual horse. It'd be great to have that much fuzzy material on an inflatable, they could actually make this one look a little less cutesy and more realistic. That one looked more realistic, but this one has the fuzzy material and I think it wins with that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my re-review of the 2018 Jimmy Clydesdale Slay. I will be covering all the new lineups as soon as they get revealed this summer and of course tearing it up with some 2023 reviews. So see you later. Peace out. Bye.